More damage popping up across the Temple area. That EF2 tornado last week ripped the awning off the VFW post on Airport Road, and it landed on a truck parked underneath. Six News reporter Mike Rogers spoke with the post commander about that startling moment and what comes next. There were close to 100 people here for bingo night last week at the VFW post 1820 when that EF1 tornado ripped through the area. One member had pulled under the awning to avoid any hail damage and within moments the wind ripped it down. For post commander Jimmy Douglas and one unfortunate member last Wednesday was an imperfect storm as he took the call to get everyone into shelter. And I said, make sure everyone is into a secure location. The thing that I didn't want to happen was somebody to be injured. Douglas said around 100 members, veterans of this country, huddled in the bathroom and hallway as one member pulled their truck up front to avoid the hail. And it was supposed to be north of us, but of course no one told the tornado. That member ran inside for cover, and within minutes the storm tore down the beams and collapsed the roof and paneling onto the truck underneath cracking the windshield and covering it from wheel to bed. They're going to have to do a lot because there's a large, well, two large beams that it's going to take a crane to lift it up and, of course, then to release the truck that's underneath. And Douglas says they've contracted the roof co to help. Uh, make sure that we can get it built back uh, the way it was and, and even better. But the timeline for repair remains undetermined. We can't control what happens to us or around us. What we do control is how we react to it. Now at this time, Douglas says they have been in contact with their district commander about getting more funds put in their own VFW relief fund here at Post 1820. And he says they plan to hold a few fundraisers in the future to help speed up those efforts. In Temple, Mike Rogers, 6 News. Mike, thank you. Tonight.